The ancient world was a tapestry of empires, each leaving their mark on history. These empires with their grand ambitions and vast territories shaped the course of human civilization in ways that still resonate today. From the fertile plains of Mesopotamia, where the first cities emerged, to the sun-drenched shores of the Mediterranean, where trade and culture flourished, powerful civilizations rose and fell. Each left behind a legacy of conquest, cultural exchange, and often oppression. These legacies are etched into the very fabric of our modern world. The concept of colonization, of one people group asserting dominance over another, was a recurring theme throughout antiquity. This process was not merely about territorial expansion but also about the imposition of culture, language, and governance. While the motivations and methods varied, the consequences for the colonized were often profound, shaping their societies for generations to come. The impacts were multifaceted, affecting social structures, economies, and even the very identity of the colonized peoples. One such story, often overlooked yet profoundly impactful, is the Roman conquest of Britain. This event was a turning point in the history of the British Isles, bringing about significant changes in governance, infrastructure, and daily life. This was not a straightforward tale of military might, but a complex interaction between two distinct cultures with lasting consequences for both. The Romans brought with them their engineering prowess, legal systems, and urban planning, which intermingled with the local traditions and customs, creating a unique cultural blend that would influence the region for centuries. To understand the Roman conquest of Britain, we must first grasp the remarkable ascent of Rome itself. From humble beginnings as a small city-state in central Italy during the 8th century BC, Rome embarked on a centuries-long journey of expansion. Through a combination of military prowess, strategic alliances, and a ruthlessly pragmatic approach to governance, the Romans gradually extended their control over the Italian peninsula. By the 3rd century BC, Rome had emerged as the dominant power in the Mediterranean, its legions clashing with rivals such as Carthage and Macedon. This relentless expansion, fueled by ambition, resources, and a belief in their own destiny, set the stage for Rome's encounter with the distant island of Britain. The story of Roman Britain begins not with conquest, but with curiosity. In 55 and 54 BC, Julius Caesar, already renowned for his military exploits in Gaul, modern-day France, led two expeditions across the English Channel. These were not full-scale invasions, but rather reconnaissance missions, designed to gather intelligence and project Roman power. Caesar encountered fierce resistance from the indigenous Celtic tribes who fought tenaciously to defend their homeland. While Caesar's campaigns achieved limited territorial gains, they established a Roman presence in Britain and paved the way for the more concerted conquest that would follow. Almost a century after Caesar's initial forays, the Roman Emperor Claudius ordered a full-scale invasion of Britain in 43 AD. This was no mere exploratory mission, but a determined effort to subjugate the island and incorporate it into the expanding Roman Empire. The invasion force led by the general Aulus Plautius was far larger and better equipped than those of Caesar. Landing on the southeastern coast, the Romans faced fierce resistance from the British tribes, but their superior military organization and discipline ultimately prevailed. The conquest of Britain was a brutal affair marked by bloody battles, sieges, and the displacement of native populations. Section 5. Britannia, a land divided. The Roman conquest of Britain was not a single decisive event but rather a protracted campaign that unfolded over several decades. By the end of the first century AD, Roman authority extended over most of what is now England and Wales. However, Roman control was far from absolute. While the southeast became heavily Romanized, with cities, villas, and infrastructure transforming the landscape, other regions remained more resistant to Roman rule. The north, in particular, proved a persistent challenge, with tribes such as the Brigantes and Caledonians fiercely resisting Roman attempts at subjugation. Section 6. The Romanization of Britain, a new way of life. The Roman conquest had a profound impact on British society and culture. Roman law, language, and customs were introduced, while Roman engineering prowess transformed the landscape with roads, aqueducts, and public baths. 
Cities such as Londinium, Eberacum, and Verulamium flourished as centers of trade and administration. However, Romanization was not a uniform process. While some Britons, particularly the elite, embraced Roman culture and benefited from the economic opportunities it presented, others clung to their traditional ways of life, often in the face of oppression and exploitation. Section 7. Resistance and Rebellion, the Iceni Revolt. The Romanization of Britain was not without its challenges. The process of integrating the British Isles into the Roman Empire was met with significant resistance from the local tribes. The imposition of Roman laws, taxes and culture often clashed with the traditional ways of the native Britons. Resentment simmered beneath the surface, occasionally erupting into open rebellion. The heavy-handed tactics of Roman officials only served to fuel the anger and discontent among the British tribes. The most famous of these uprisings was the Revolt of the Iceni, led by the warrior Queen Boudicca in 60-61 AD. Boudicca, a fierce and determined leader, became a symbol of resistance against the Roman occupation. Enraged by the brutal treatment she and her people suffered at the hands of Roman officials, Boudicca rallied the Iceni and other tribes in a desperate bid for freedom. Her leadership and charisma inspired many to join the cause, uniting various tribes in a common struggle against their oppressors. The rebels sacked and burned several Roman settlements, including Londinium and Colchester, before being decisively defeated by Roman legions. The destruction they wrought was a stark reminder of the fierce resistance the Romans faced. The Iceni revolt, though ultimately unsuccessful, stands as a testament to the spirit of resistance that continued to burn among the British people. It highlighted the deep-seated desire for autonomy and freedom that persisted despite the overwhelming power of the Roman Empire. The legacy of Boudicca and her revolt remains a powerful symbol of defiance and resilience in the face of oppression. Section 8, The Northern Frontier, Hadrian's Wall and Beyond. The north of Britain, with its rugged terrain and fiercely independent tribes, proved particularly challenging for the Romans to control. In 122 AD, the Emperor Hadrian ordered the construction of a massive wall across the narrowest part of the island, stretching from the Solway Firth in the west to the River Tyne in the east. Hadrian's Wall, a remarkable feat of engineering, was designed to mark the northern limit of Roman rule and control movement across the border. However, it was not simply a defensive structure, but also a symbol of Roman power and an attempt to impose order on a volatile frontier. Section 9. Life and Death in Roman Britain. Evidence from Archaeology. Archaeology provides a fascinating glimpse into the lives of both Romans and Britons during the Roman occupation. Excavations have unearthed a wealth of artifacts, from everyday objects such as pottery, tools and jewelry to grand structures like villas, temples and public baths. These finds shed light on the material culture of Roman Britain, the trade networks that connected it to the wider Roman world, and the daily lives of its inhabitants. Cemeteries too offer insights into beliefs about death and the afterlife, with both Roman and native burial practices evident. Section 10. The End of an Era, Rome Withdraws. The Roman Empire, beset by internal problems and external pressures, began to decline in the 4th century AD. In 410 AD, as barbarian tribes threatened the heart of the empire, Roman legions were withdrawn from Britain, leaving the island to fend for itself. The departure of the Romans marked the end of an era. Without Roman administration and military protection, Britain entered a period of uncertainty and fragmentation, paving the way for the emergence of new kingdoms and the eventual arrival of Anglo-Saxon settlers. Section 11. Legacy, the lasting impact of Roman rule. The Roman legacy in Britain is profound and enduring, influencing various aspects of life even centuries after the fall of the Roman Empire. From language and law to engineering and urban planning, the Roman imprint on British society and culture is undeniable. The Latin language, for instance, has left its mark on the English vocabulary, while Roman legal principles have influenced the British legal system. Roman roads still form the basis of many modern road networks facilitating trade and travel across the country. Roman place names, such as Chester and Lancaster dot the map, serving as historical markers of Roman settlements. The ruins of Roman forts, villas, and walls stand as tangible reminders of a bygone era. These structures, often marvels of engineering, showcase the advanced construction techniques of the Romans. 
archaeological discoveries continue to reveal new insights into this fascinating period of British history, shedding light on daily life, trade, and military strategies. The Roman conquest of Britain, though a story of conquest and oppression, also left a lasting legacy of cultural exchange and transformation. The introduction of Roman customs, cuisine, and art forms enriched the local culture, creating a unique blend that continues to shape the island nation to this day. The Roman influence is a testament to the enduring power of cultural integration and adaptation.